Examples of circular economy, to take business case examples, run right through the business. So it's not just the design of a product, but it's how that product fits within a system. In fact, it's, it's optimizing the system, not the product itself. So if you take Philips and a project it did in the Netherlands with a company called Turn2, they looked at how you would supply light to an office. And rather than us being the office workers buying the fittings mm -hmm. and paying the electricity, the model was turned on its head. So Philips made the lighting, Philips provided the light, we only pay for the light, they pay the electricity bill. So they're then incentivized to build the most energy efficient lighting they possibly can. They also, when they have more efficient lighting, take the old ones out and put the new ones in because they pay the electricity bill, it's in their interest to do it. Once they take that lighting back, they know what's in it. They know everything they put in it, they know the design of it because they made it, they designed it, they built it. They can then recover those materials and put them into the lights of the future. We are not able to do that. You know, we don't know what's in our iPhone, we don't know what's in our computer. We, we're not, that's not our job. So when you change that system to, pr to provide a service rather than us physically buy and own all the materials within something, once that system's built, then that product can flow back into the system. And once it goes back into the system, it can then be valorized. And the more you design for circularity, the more you can valorize, which will obviously be in those companies' interests, as materials get more and more scarce and as they can valorize the assets and feed them back into their, their products of the future. And the economic reports we've done with McKinsey really show that actually there's a win-win situation. We as the user get a better product, because we don't have to buy all the product, all the, the, the items within it, and the manufacturer doesn't make money just because they sell more and more, which means the products have to break, because they'll never make more money if they, you know, if they they don't sell another one so we don't have to pay tax when we buy it we don't pay tax when we throw it away through landfill tax we don't own all the materials within it we get the functionality of that machine they repair it they upgrade it they remanufacture it they change it out when it needs changing out we get what we need which is washing the company owns the materials they provide the service of, of a washing machine so they build the best machine they can because they want it to last they want it to be repairable remanufacturable and it's going to go back to them so they then recover the materials everything changes but economically it's better for the user and it's better for the manufacturer both benefit